Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new here, hello, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for lots more paint, diamond painting content. And if you are back, welcome back. My apologies for my froggy voice here today, but I was too excited to wait to share this particular kit with you guys. So I have an unboxing to share with you guys today that is of a new release from Enablers Outpost. You guys, Enablers Outpost is an absolutely wonderful small shop in the community. Um, the owners are Elizabeth and Edward. They are some of the kindest and sweetest people that you will ever meet. They're, they're maybe more well known for their hand-turned diamond painting pens, which I also really love, but they also have a really nice variety of licensed diamond painting kits, and they just continue to add more and more selection and really amazing variety from some really lovely artists and so the one that i have to share with you guys today is called where i belong i'll give you a better look at the picture here once we open it up but this is by the artist the art of seda and i just there was something about this image that really really caught my eye and i thought was just so beautiful so thank you to enablers outpost for sending this over for me to share with you guys this is a bit of a first look and they wanted me to have a chance to to kind of show you guys what they're doing over an enablers outpost. So hold on, let me get this plastic wrap off for you guys. So hi, how are you doing today? I hope that you are having a wonderful day so far. As we're as we're getting into this kit, you may hear a little bit of rain in the background. Yes, here in Southern California, we're actually getting some rain today, which is unusual, but I'll take it. So um, DIY diamond painting, just a quick look at the box here. Some uh, info about your um, kit contents sorry words are hard um, there's some info on the back about instructions for how to diamond paint I've got a beginner video I'll link to as well in case you're curious and there is the image on the end as well as the size and the branding from enablers outpost but let's get into this kit itself now um, enablers outpost did let me know that they they opened this up because they wanted to take some pictures for their website so um, I think it may come plastic sealed, the, the canvas itself may. Uh, this is, yeah, this was one of the like first runs of this kit that was sent to them to take a look at. So, oh my gosh, wow, this is a good size too. Look at her, oh my gosh, that's so pretty, oh my goodness. Now, one other update I wanna, I wanna give you guys one little caveat is that um, this comes with an older version of a toolkit. If you order this kit from Enablers Outpost, you're actually gonna get an upgraded toolkit. So I think they may have posted pictures over in their Facebook group and maybe on their Instagram, which I'll link to both of those in the description box. But just so you know, your toolkit is gonna look a little bit different than the one that came with this particular kit, which it came with a pen, a tray, some wax, and some tweezers, and I think maybe some multi-placers as well. So either way, the kit you get is gonna have everything you need to do your diamond painting. Here is that gorgeously warm and beautiful, beautiful color spread. We'll look at these diamonds more closely in just a bit. I want to take a closer look at this canvas though. Hold on a second. Let's, un let's roll it, help it lay flat. If you have a canvas that wants to stay rolled up like this one does, which that often happens just by nature of how it's packed, you can just roll it backwards the opposite direction. Enablers Outpost uses poured glue on their canvases and the canvas material itself is a really lovely quality. And so it's completely safe to roll backwards. And that is, there we go, gonna help it lay flat. Look at how pretty she is. I feel like she's a witch or wizard with that hat going on. We've got some floating candles in the background. I like it, I like it a lot. So. Included is this, this sheet here that's got some nice helpful info on it. This is actually one large sticker sheet. Uh, so here we've got their name, Enablers Outpost. I like their branding, it's so cute. There's their socials, I'll have those linked below. And then this is um, a sticker of the original artwork. I am gonna probably cut this out and put this in my paper logbook once I start working on it. I love it. I'm getting a certain vibe from this that I really like that reminds me of a particular fandom, but we're just gonna leave it at that. I, I love it. So Where I Belong is the name of this piece. It's licensed from The Art of Seda, or Seda. I apologize if I am mispronouncing, or Seda, I suppose. Uh, image specs. So this is gonna be 60 by 60 centimeters. That's gonna be the actual drill field. 31 colors, including three ABs. Of course, poured glue, like we mentioned, and this one's gonna have square drills. Here's some info about the kits and a little note from the owner. 
So this is a generation 4.0 kit. I've worked on one of these, one or two of these kits before. This most recent, um, you know, generation, I suppose, of kits like they just mentioned. They're really, really, really nice. And I've worked on a square drill one from them that was really nice quality as well. So um, here's some information about the author, or sorry, the artist. I'm actually, I saw author, I said author because it says book illustrator. So um, artist, and I suppose also a book illustrator and character designer. So um, I love that they've included some information about the artist and then a little Ed Elizabeth and Edward Inslee, the owners. Over here, you guys, these are a set of stickers. They look like maybe they're not pre-cut, but they are stickers, so I'm just gonna grab a pair of scissors. Let's cut them out, and you can still cut them into strips and use them if you kit up your diamonds, or even just to put them on the baggies that the diamonds came in. It looks like they came in resealable baggies, and so, yeah, I like to use these labels and put them either on the bag, directly on the baggies or on the storage containers that I put the diamonds into because then I can just look at the symbol on the canvas and then find the symbol on the diamonds and it's very easy. It cuts out looking at like the legend and stuff like that. So like that this is included. Now let me take you on a little tour of the canvas itself. So let's see. Up here at the top, we've got some branding, Enablers Outpost, Enablers Outpost. Um, we do have these scalloped and finished edges. The canvas material itself, it's its a nice sturdy material. It's thicker. Um, it's, it's not soft, but it still has that kind of like nice quality weight to it. It's laying flat really well. And like I said, I've completed some canvases from them and they, they do hold diamonds really well as well. We have a legend up here at the top left that you can refer to if you like with those 31 colors, including one, two, three ABs. If you're not sure what ABs are, stay tuned. I'm gonna show you guys in just a moment. Up here at the bottom right, we have a thumbnail and a schematic. There's the size and the model number. There's another legend for you guys. We have their website, their shop here, and their Instagram, which I'll link those in the description box below this video too. And there's the name of the artwork, Where I Belong, licensed from The Art of Seda. So let's look at the canvas up close. Nice, clear printing of that drill field. A little bit of glare just from kind of this plastic, I think is thick and maybe my lighting. <laughs> I recognize these symbols from the last canvas I worked on from them. It's a nice mix of alphanumeric and non-alphanumeric. You guys, we have a good amount of color blocking going on in here. So color blocking is like right in here. Lots of the same symbol in a small area. You'll be able to use your multi-placer in there and have that color in your tray for a while, which is really nice. Areas like this and oh, down here as well, that tends to go quickly because you can just zip right through it. Um, I think I'm still seeing though some areas of confetti. I'll give you a good example in just a moment when I find one. I suppose maybe this isn't isn't a bad example, but over here we do have some confetti. More color changes in a small area. You'll mostly be using your single placer and um, changing the color in your tray a little bit more often. But when you've got some confetti like that, you usually get a little bit more in the way of details. Oh, and her face as well. That's a good example too. Lots of color changes like on her nose and stuff. So I really want a mix of color blocking and confetti in my kits because confetti keeps, keeps it interesting, gives us that detail, but color blocking keeps it moving. And this has a nice mix of both. I think that that confetti in the background here of these candle flames is gonna give it a really nice glow effect and some, and some depth. But I like the color blocking that's going on. Like, geez, her hat, you're just gonna zip right through that. That's all one color. I'm curious about her skin tones though. We'll see. Um, the square drills, yeah, especially when I pull back, I think that's gonna look good. I think that's gonna look good. I love it. Okay, let's measure and see where we're at size-wise, which usually we measure true to size from Enablers Outpost, but I always like to double check. So we've got 60 centimeters left to right, and we've got 60 centimeters top to bottom. So we are true to size. Again, that's not shocking. My kids from Enablers Outpost in the past have been true to size. So she's so pretty. I love this. Is this a new artist for them? I'm trying to remember if they've had other pieces from this artist before. But anyway, let's look at these diamonds together. Again, all of these warm, gorgeous colors are gonna make this such a cozy, cozy piece. So just all these shades of orange and peach, 
we look at the front of the bag themselves. Okay, so sometimes you'll have multiple bags of the same color like this one. So 745, that's our DMC color code, which if you look at the legend, that's what we're working with, 745 DMC. That color code system comes from the DMC brand of Floss. Most diamond painting companies do use that color code system. And then this down here, the 14.65 is the weight. These are in resealable baggies, like I mentioned. So if you prefer not to have to put your diamonds into storage containers, you can absolutely just work out of these baggies. Um, that's, I know a lot of people actually prefer that. And so I really enjoy that that's an option that comes with Enablers Outposts kits. Again, like just every amazing and beautiful shade of oranges and peaches. I actually love seeing a lot of variations like in similar shades of the same sort of color and color family because to me that seems promising it seems like that means it's likely that we're gonna have some beautiful color block some i'm sorry some beautiful um color shading and rendering which render, rendering is just how the image is translated from original artwork into diamond painting form and enablers outpost does hand render their have their kits hand rendered they hand chart their kits um which is why you have things like this is all one color if you if this were to just have been purely computer charted you would probably see just oodles of unnecessary confetti um so anyway just just a quick note so i was just saying that i actually like when i see like similar color shades because I'm like, oh, that's probably gonna be some nice blending then. So we have just small amounts of some of these darker colors. And you probably noticed that, or heard me mention that these are square drills. And I've worked on a square drill kit from Enablers Outpost that I will link the post review that I did of that kit down in the description box. I know some people are a little bit wary of working with squares because squares are a little bit more fickle. It tends to matter more how the quality on them is, but take a look at the bottoms on these squares. Look at how uniform and consistent in size those are. I think those are gonna be really, really good to work with. I did not have trouble with the squares that I worked with on my last Enablers Outpost kit. And so hopefully that gives you some reassurance that you can safely order from Enablers Outpost and their square drills in particular, if you like. Their round drills were awesome too, but like I said, I know squares are the ones that people tend to get the most anxious about. Um, they're nice quality. They're consistent in size and shape. I didn't did not run into trash on those. I had enough squares. I don't think I ran out of any colors. And three tens, these black square diamonds. Three tens are the ones that people tend to worry the most about. Darker colors for some reason. I don't know if it's about the manufacturing process or how much more often they're produced, but you guys, these look good. These honestly, these look really, really good. So hopefully you're really not gonna have anything to worry about. Let me do a fun bag of this 5200, this white. They look good, you guys. I like these, I like it, I like it. All right, so I do have some colors here that I wanna make a particular point of showing off to you. Here are our three AB diamonds. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis. These diamonds have a special, look at that red one in particular an iridescent coating on them that makes them truly stand apart from the other diamonds in your kit. Um, these are named after the Northern Lights because they have that really gorgeous shimmery color shift effect. They're amazing. The areas that these have been charted, it's gonna draw your eye to those areas. It may reflect some of the colors of the diamonds around it. It's gonna highlight and just be a really gorgeous, gorgeous effect. So we have this 5200 AB, which is a white AB, this pretty pale mint AB, 775, and then 666, a really nice cherry red AB. Let's take a look on the canvas and find where those ABs have been charted. So if I had to guess, let's see, I'm gonna guess in the candle flames uh, for some of those. And let's see, what symbols are we looking for? The check mark and the letter J and the letter R. So I am seeing some of the red AB actually in her lips. I like that, I think that's gonna be pretty. That mint AB is in her eyes. I was hoping that was gonna be the case. I'm like, where else is that pale mint color? In her eyes, kind of this middle color you're seeing, there's a nice chunk of them, so her eyes are really gonna stand out nicely. And I don't think I see, yeah, there's no white ABs in her eyes, but let's look at these candle flames. Looking at the candle flames, um, yes, they are outlined and have, yeah, the flames themselves 
are outlined in white AB. <gasps> That's pretty. And those candles, there's a line of white ABs right here. And then there's some white ABs, yeah, outlining the candle flame here and over here, as well as you're not in frame up here. <laughs> and this candle flame as well, specifically in the flames. <gasps> I like that AB charting. That's gorgeous. Okay, so a piece like this, I I love that they didn't go overboard with the ABs. I think that the, that where they have been charted is gonna have a beautiful, beautiful effect. We just have the red ABs in her lips, the pale mint ABs in her eyes, and then the white ABs outline the candle flames. I think that is going to be so incredibly beautiful. Ooh, ooh, I did miss some, I did miss some. This, this part of her collar, it is, the whole thing is not white ABs, but there's an outline. There's an outline going around. It's not like a solid line, it's sometimes it's every other, but that's just gonna give that a little bit of extra glow, which if you look at the original artwork, actually it does have some glow to it. It's gonna make it stand out from, yeah, yeah, from the shirt beneath, uh, under her. So if you look at this image and look at the kind of areas that your eyes might be drawn to or, to, or you think like, oh, that would look good if it were enhanced with ABs, these are the kinds of areas that like the candle flames definitely like her eyes her lips i think that's amazing ab placement i think that's going to be really beautiful oh my gosh so you guys this looks fantastic i think this is going to be beautiful once it has diamonds down and i think the charting looks amazing the quality all around with like the canvas material the drills the drill field the the hand charting like i said Everything about this just makes for a really nice, high quality diamond painting canvas. So I am impressed. I love what Enablers Outpost is doing. I think they're a fantastic small shop to support and they have some really, really beautiful diamond paintings to choose from, including some kits that would totally work for with the summer with a master's event that's coming up. They have some gorgeous Alphonse Mucha panels. Um, <clears throat> if that's your jam, which I love Alphonse Mucha. Um, go and take a look at what they have to offer. They have a lot in stock and available right now. I will, like I mentioned, I'll link to past Enablers Outpost kits that I have worked on and I've done reviews on them so you can see how they look completed. Take a look in the description box below this video. That's where you'll find those links. And hopefully that is just going to help reinforce to you that if you haven't taken a look at Enablers Outpost before, you really should because they have fantastic quality kits and are a wonderful small shop to support. So thank you so much to Elizabeth and Edward for sharing. Um, they're sending this kit over for me to share with all of you and give you a closer look at what this canvas is and what they have to offer. Remember that they have upgraded the toolkits from the one that you saw in this video. Be sure to join their Facebook group and follow them on Instagram. That's a really good way to stay up to date with what their shop is doing and upgrades and, and future things that are coming. I will have those linked. Everything will be linked in the description box below this video. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that this video was helpful and that you enjoyed getting to look at where I belong from the art of Seda with me. And be sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with future diamond painting content, including when I finish kits and you get to see what they look like once they're completed. So have an amazing rest of your day, my friends, and I will chat with you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.